Hey guys, Dr. Ax here. Today I'm going to share with you my secrets to curing plantar fasciitis. And I can tell you from being a triathlete myself, over the years I've struggled with injuries and pain like plantar fasciitis and IT band syndrome and, and other injuries that, uh, that for most people they have to live with for a long time. But what I did is I did research, found the natural cures and natural ways to really improve plantar fasciitis. Now there are four secrets to curing plantar fasciitis. Number one, doing deep tissue work on the area. Number two, stretching. Number three, there are actually nutritional foods and supplements that can cure plantar fasciitis. And last but not least, strengthening the muscles of your feet. So let me go through the four ways that you can cure your plantar fasciitis. Number one, deep tissue massage. Now, you can hire a massage therapist or the cheapest, most effective way to do it is either get a tennis ball, a baseball at home, or my favorite is a rolling pin and put this right under your foot here like so. You can do this barefooter with a sock on and really just kind of going deep over time stretching out that tendon. What happens is when you have plantar fasciitis, that tendon and fascia becomes very, very tight, starts to stretch out. Just like if you pulled a muscle in your low back or let's say your neck, getting deep tissue massage breaks up the scar tissue, relaxes the muscle. So going back and forth about two minutes at a time, really kind of, and just kind of getting in that one little area like so, that is the number one thing you can do to help cure your plantar fasciitis. And I would do this twice two to three times a day for about two to five minutes. Start off at two, work your way up to five minutes. The second thing you wanna to do to cure your plantar fasciitis is do deep stretching. So I would go and get, uh, get a block or get on a set of stairs is the easiest way to do this. And really, again, find a set of stairs and really just kind of stretch that area, lean up against there. So doing deep stretching of that plantar tendon. The third secret to curing plantar fasciitis, and by the way, this is very, very important, is getting certain nutrients in your body that help relax tendons. Those nutrients are number one, magnesium. Magnesium is essential doing about 500 milligrams a day. I would do 500 milligrams right before bed. That relaxes that muscle. That's the number one nutrient for healing plantar fasciitis. Also along with magnesium, doing vitamin B5, it's called pantothenic acid. That's been shown to help relax the muscle and help heal the plantar tendon. Number three is fish oil, getting more omega-3s in your diet can also help heal that area. So remember magnesium, remember vitamin B5, and also doing, as we talked about, fish oil, and then vitamin C can also help with the absorption of B5, another good thing to do, but make sure you're following an anti-inflammatory diet. Getting those supplements will help relax that plantar tendon. And last but not least, one of the main causes of plantar fasciitis is actually not wearing the right type of shoes and having weak foot muscles. You know, our bodies were meant to be moving barefoot. You know, that's our original design is walking barefoot, where a lot of these shoes today, they cause us to compensate and only use certain areas of our foot. And so actually, most of our feet muscles get weak. And so actually walking around barefoot or switching over to barefoot shoes, these are the original Vibrams, uh, Vibram shoes that I have, these sort of barefoot shoes. They actually really strengthen your tendon. Now what I wear today are these Merrells, which don't have the five fingers, but they still have this Vibram bottom. So this is more of a barefoot shoe, but wearing barefoot shoes will help strengthen your calf muscles. It'll help strengthen one of those uh, many, many little muscles within your feet. It's going to help raise your arch. So that's really going to help strengthen your foot, long-term help, help, uh, help improve your plantar fasciitis. And by the way, slow into this when you're wearing barefoot shoes. I recommend just starting off one hour, maybe even 30 minutes during the day over time, kind of work your way up. You know, a lot of people do barefoot running today. You may even work into that a little bit, but just remember this, there are four cures to to fix your plantar fasciitis. Number one, as we've talked about, doing deep tissue rolling on the area with either a tennis ball or a rolling pin. Number two, doing that stretching for about a minute to three minutes, three time, two to three times a day. Number three, nutrition. Listen, you, your body needs certain vitamins and minerals to relax the muscle, magnesium, fish oil, very, very important as we talked about, and vitamin B5. And last but not least, switch the shoes you're wearing, start getting out, walking barefoot, wearing barefoot like shoes. You do those four things, you're gonna relieve that pain there and that tendon that can get so tight and you're gonna relieve plantar fasciitis. Hey guys, if you like this video or you wanna learn more of my health tips like proper running form, how to burn fat, lose weight, how you can check out the info here on how to subscribe or check out more of our information on DrAx.com.